Hello physicists who like to have fun. We're going to be examining a standing wave on a string today. One, and wave phenomena are one of the most fascinating things in physics. They explain so much about how nature works. A very important part of physics. With a regular movie camera, when we pluck the string, all we'll see is a blur. But with a high speed camera, we're going to slow it down. This frequency generator will drive this oscillator at a certain frequency and we'll be able to see resonances. We'll be able to directly read the frequency off the meter. A few more facts you need to know. For 2.6 grams of string, it has a length of 2.015 meters. The distance between the vibrator to the pulley, the other clamp, is 1.165 meters. And we're going to start with a kilogram on the weight hanger and increase it by half kilogram increments. Finally, High-speed photography takes lots of light. There's the light. We're going to start at 38 hertz. It's already vibrating at its lowest mode. One loop, half of a wavelength between the vibrator and the pulley. So let's take a few frames of high-speed video on this guy. Now we'll bring up the frequency. 38 hertz, it started out. Let's, now, uh, we predict 76 hertz. So let's see what happens. So we don't have a standing wave. We don't have a standing wave. We're getting up to 50 hertz. We can hear the vibrator going. We're going to have to go up a scale, um, a decade. Okay, way too high. 40 hertz. We expect, ooh, we're starting to get something right about at 75. Let's get it tuned in. There it is, it's way tuned in. There, I think it's tuned in. It's tuned in all the way. 77 is our frequency, and let's get another high speed on that guy. Now, we're saying, uh, looks like 38 hertz, uh, let's add 38 to 76, which will give us 114, is that right? Let's see if the next vibration goes up to 114. We're at 116 now, and it stopped. The vibrator, you gotta watch out, experimental thing. It goes up and down, so if it tries to go sideways, it won't work so well. Let's get... Okay, there it's 114. We gotta make sure it's going up and down. There. You can hear it. It's going up and down and it's really, really close. You might not be able to see it with the camera, but I can see the three loops. There, they're starting to get more prominent. There they are. Ooh, there they are. Big and fat. 114. Right at 114 hertz. Let's get a few frames of high speed video. Thirty eight more hertz on this should be one hundred and fifty two. Let's see if we can get four loops. Each loop is a half a wavelength. Remember. OK, nothing, nothing. One hundred and thirty nine. 156, we've overshot a little bit. Let's search around. I can hear it. Here it comes, here it comes. Now I can see it. A little harder to see. 
You should be able to see four loops. Now let's see what the high speed camera shows. Let's stop here and let's add another half kilogram onto it. I just added an extra half kilogram. Total is one and a half kilograms on the weight hanger, 46 hertz. Let's get a few frames of high speed now. Now let's try to tune in. This is the fundamental frequency. Before we added more tension, higher frequency. Before it was 39 hertz. It is now, because we added that extra half kilogram, it is now 46 hertz. Our theory predicts that if we double this, we'll get two loops. And if we triple it, we'll get three loops, and so on. Each loop is a half a wavelength. 92, right at 92. A few frames of high speed video. I'm hearing something. There's the three loops. Looks like we're there. We've tuned it in. 140. Not quite 138, but pretty close. A few frames of high speed video. Let's try one more. There, there, I can hear it. You can hear it before you actually see it. And it's kind of small. You might not even be able to see it with the cameras. But you can hear it before you can see it, actually. Okay, let's get a few frames of high speed. We've had another half kilogram that makes the total two kilograms on the, mat, on the weight hanger. 54 hertz. That's our fundamental. Let's get a little high speed on this one. Hundred and eight hertz ought to be the uh, next uh, frequency. So I'll have to go up one. Hundred and seven hertz. Really close. Few frames of high speed on this guy. Okay, let's add another 54. That's 161, right? You can hear it before you can see it. You might not even be able to see it, but you can definitely hear it. Few frames of high speed. Uh, we'll try to get four. And uh, what was that? Um, what did we say? It was uh, 54. So 54 and 162 will give us uh, 216. Got to use the fine. You'll notice I um, used the course for a while, then I used the fine. You can hear it before you can see it. There it is. Now you can't hardly see it, but you can definitely hear it. 214 hertz. And a few frames of high speed video. We'll go ahead and wind it up here. Three different masses, several sets of frequencies. That ought to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Go home, have your physics instructors help you figure out how this matches the models and how standing waves work. Okay, have fun ladies and gentlemen from the fun physicists. Bye bye.